Hey everybody, this is Derek with PreCentral.net, and today we're going to take a quick look at a new Twitter app beta called Carbon. Now Carbon, uh, as you can see when it launches right up here, is a new style of Twitter app. It's a very dark theme, as the name Carbon might imply. Uh, you may not be able to see this on the video, but it also has very sort of stone carbony uh, background to it that gives it a very uh, finished look, if you will. Now what makes Carbon different is the new panels view that the developer is calling parallel timelines. You can swipe back and forth between your direct messages, mentions, and your home, time, home timeline. And you can also use the gesture area to move back and forth. You see we have three little dots on here to show you where you are along the way. Now over in the direct messages view, your messages are organized into a conversation with everything that you've sent and that the person you've been speaking to has sent to you back and forth. Now if we go back to the main screen, you'll notice that my last uh, tweet loaded was an hour ago. Right now this beta doesn't have notifications or auto refresh uh, enabled or programmed in yet, but the developer has told us these will be coming later uh, along with a whole ha slew of other features. Though right now, you, there are two uh, options available. You can hit the refresh button, and it will refresh for you, and loads up. And you have an option of either going up to the top of your new tweets and see the newest new tweet, or it can go as I have it set to the bottom where you can see the oldest new tweet. And you have this neat little uh, bar there to indicate how far down you are, or where your new tweets start. And then you can scroll up and you can see tweets from you are marked with a little bar along this left side and tweets that are replies to yours, I don't know that I have any to show off, will have a bar on the right side. Now you go with all the scrolling here, they've also implemented a new feature called the power scroll. You take two fingers and scroll and it goes all the way to the top, two fingers, all the way to the bottom where you can load more and just like magic, and there's your little bar telling you where you just loaded. Top, bottom. Uh, right now, if you say you want to reply to a tweet, you can click on it here, and you have your reply, quotes, retweet, and favorite. Retweet is just the new Twitter retweet. Uh, the quote button, however, gives you the options to retweet, tweet via, uh, do a via tweet with that style, uh, the quick tweet retweet, and quotes, where you'll just put that tweet into quotes. And you can also just do your straight reply. Now if you do the reply, you have two options for how you do com uh, compositions as well. I have it set right now to show off the new card uh, composer, where you can just go and do it in a new card, and type your tweet and hit enter to send. You can attach photos, uh, shorten links and add your location as well. And also, uh, I don't can't show it off right now because I only have one, my one Twitter account, but Carbon does have support for multiple Twitter accounts with multiple cards. So you could, in theory, have several Twitter accounts and be able to keep tabs on all of them at once. Now, it's just a beta right now, so there are still some features missing and there are some features to be added in. But we were impressed with it enough right now that we wanted to show it off to you. So this was Carbon, new beta Twitter client for WebOS.